Hi there, welcome to QA Box. Let's test. In the last video, we created this app.js file and executed it on the Node.js environment. In this video, we are going to create our first project. And in Node, whenever we talk about creating a project, we have to understand one file that is package.json. So, what is package.json? Package.json is a JSON file that exists at the root of the JavaScript or Node project. It holds metadata relevant to the project and it is used for managing the project's dependencies, scripts, version, license, author, and a whole lot more. This package.json file can be created manually or by using npm or yarn. To create the file manually, create a package.json file manually in the root of the project and add an empty project. So let's create that. We're going to say package.json. Let's create the empty object. And now we have to add properties which are mandatory. So the first mandatory property is name. And the second one is versioning. Let's quickly do that. So this is how you can create the file manually. But we have commands to create this file for us. So let us delete this and go by the second way. So to create the package.json file with the npm run npm init command. You hit enter. When we run this command, we will be asked a series of questions about the project. We need to go through them and answer them to finally generate a package.json file in the root of our project. So I'm going to accept all the default. You can change these if you want. So I'm done. At the end you have to say yes and that is going to create the package.json file at the root of the project. If you're fine to accept all the default values then you can also run one more command. So let us delete that and let's say npm init space hyphen y. You can also create the same file using yarn and for that you have to use yarn init and that is going to again ask you a series of questions you have to provide that. Throughout this series I would make use of npm commands for showing examples of how to do specific tasks. So let's see some of the properties of the package.json file. So first one is name. The name property represents the name of the object and by default it is always the name of the project folder. Version. The version property denotes the current version of the module for the project. It follows the semantic versioning guideline. So means this is major, this is minor and this is patch. So let's understand when we say patch what does we mean. So if this is updated to let's say 1.0.1 from 1. So we are going to call it as a patch release for 1.0.0. This patch release is always backward compatible and have got some bug fixes. Now 1. Dot, if I say 1.1.0, 1 so this becomes the minor release. This is also backward compatible, but it has got some new features as well. Now if we say 2.0.0, now this is a major release. It has changes that can break the backward compatibility. Next one is description. The description property is used in describing and providing more information about the project. Keywords. The keyword property is an array of keywords that help in identifying your project or make your project easier to find when a user searches those keywords dependencies the dependency property which we are not seeing in here the dependency property denotes a list of required modules or packages for your application to function after installing a dependency it is added to the dependencies list so let's install one dependency axios so axios is a promise based http client for the browser and node.js and the way you are going to install dependencies is very simple with the help of node package manager you are going to say npm you can say i or install right and then you are going to provide the name of the package so we are going to say axios 
so now you see the dependency is being added all right and we have two more new things in here package hyphen log.json so i'm going to create a separate video on that and then this node module so this node module folder gets added when we start adding dependency to our project and this is where files from all external packages live if node module folder exists before you create package.json it will look inside there and see what packages are there and will auto automatically add them to the dependencies in package.json let's see that so i'm going to delete this and this file and i'm going to say npm init y again the node folder is already there this one is created and now you could see that in the dependency we already have xeos great dev dependencies now this one is added it wasn't there initially but we had this node module folder and then we created package.json afterwards so we also have this now so dev dependency property denotes a list of module or packages that are not required for application to function they are also known as development dependency for example let's say uh, i want to install uh, chai so i'll say npm i chai chai is an assertion library which is used into testing so to save that into the dev dependency i'm going to say hyphen hyphen save dev i'm going to hit enter okay so now you see that the chai is added to the dev dependencies next we have got script and the script property takes a json object of key value pair each script can be used in performing different sets of tasks like building testing post testing the application you can run the scripts by running npm run script name on the terminal so i'm going to create a separate video on this okay then we have got these author and license and every time you create a project and these properties will more or less remain the same so let's say you're using a different license than this isc then are you going to update it every time you create a project no right so then you can use these commands so you're going to say npm config set in it dot author is an object so we are going to set some properties we're going to say qa box so now if you could see that there are two words and separated by a space so therefore they will go inside these double quotes so i'm going to hit enter and i'm going to also set the email and it is going to be let's say QA box, let's say at gmail.com. Okay, I hit enter. Let's make the same change for license as well. And we are going to say MIT. Let's hit enter. Let's create the these files and the node module as well and let us read the file again all right so now if you could see that we have the author information and we also have the license information so all these things will go and save into this file dot npmrc okay now we have one more which is the repository information which is currently not here so the repository keyword is a again json object of key value pair that are used to specify the version control system being used to manage the application we can specify the type of version control being used the url to the repository as well as in an optional uh, directly within the repository now 
uh, let's set this using this command again so what are we going to do so let us first create the git uh, repo in here I'm going to delete this okay so we just have got this app.js and we're going to say um, git init so it has initialized an empty git repository in this particular location let's add the mode origin that is also done so now if I do init y npm init will pick the git info too like it did with the dependencies let us do that so now if I open this you could see that repository section is added all right I missed this section app.js so let us understand this as well so main is basically the entry point so whenever your application is loaded this would be the first page that would be accessed um, so if we do not have this so let me delete everything here okay and if I say npm init hyphen y so let's see what is the default value that we get so we get index.js let us create some files we're going to say boy.js and let us create one more file at the root of the project which is girl.js okay now let me delete this and run this command again so let's see what are we going to get in the main so we get boy.js which means these files are alphabetically sorted and uh, when you already have these files and you create package.json then it is going to the going to pick the first file okay so when you create the project before creating the package.json file if you want all these things to be uh, picked automatically by npm in it make sure that you set up your project accordingly and then run the npm in it command so besides managing the dependencies of the project it is also helpful when you start sharing the project with your peers so when your project is ready what we do is we upload only the application code to the versioning system we do not upload the node modules there so your peer all they have to do is they have to download the code and open the terminal and they have to run the command npm install and because of this package.json all the dependencies on which your project work will get downloaded automatically onto your machine thank you so much